I'm excited. And y'all need to get excited with me. I want to hear you. Who wants to send Donald Trump and J.D. Vance to the White House in 48 hours? It's time to get excited. It's time to get, it's time to get off our butts. It's time to get on our feet. We got to work hard over the next 48 hours to put our country back on track. And ladies and gentlemen, it's up to us right here in Georgia. The White House runs right through our state. And with your help, we'll make sure Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. And we'll send him right back to the White House where he belongs. You know, as Ag Commissioner, I get to work with some really great people. I get to work with some of the best in, in, in the country. I get to work with our nation's farmers and producers and ranchers. And you know, agriculture is national security period. Providing the food, the fiber, the shelter we all rely on is national security. I don't know about you. I don't want to rely on somebody else to provide our food, our fiber, our shelter for us. We got to do that for ourselves right here at home in our own borders. But I can tell you, agriculture is at risk. Under this administration, we've seen net farm income decline over 40%. We've seen the largest agriculture trade deficit in our nation's history, over $30 billion. That means we become a net importer of food. That's the wrong direction, folks. That means we're heading down the wrong path. And even Kamala Harris, in her own words, has said that since COVID, food prices are up. And you know, our law enforcement unit at the department, we worked working with federal and state partners. You know, we, we, we captured a cartel uh, drug bust of methamphetamine and celery that come right here to Atlanta, Georgia because of their border policies. I don't know about you, but when we put Donald Trump in the White House, we're gonna have border policies that don't let that kind of stuff happen. We're gonna give our farmers the tools that they need to succeed. We're gonna ensure that America continues to be successful. We're gonna put our nation on the right track and we will be secure once again because President Trump knows our farmers. He knows agriculture. He understands that it is na our nation's national security and that protecting it is key. I've been in a number of meetings with the president where we have had that conversation together, and I know the president has a heart for our American producers, our American farmers, and our agricultural industry. But with your help, we can ensure that agriculture continues to be protected. We've been doing some of that right here in the great state of Georgia with the help. There's a number of state legislators that are here. The lieutenant governor you're going to hear from in a minute. But now in the state of Georgia, it is law. If you're a foreign adversary of the United States, you can't buy agriculture land in the state of Georgia no more. And those are the kind of policies with Donald Trump in the White House we'll execute nationwide. We'll ensure we protect agriculture. And in 48 hours, we're going to put America back on the right track. We're going to be respected on the world stage again. We're going to keep agriculture strong. We're going to make America great again, again. And so it's up to all of us. We got work to do over the next 48 hours, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get off our butts. We got to make sure everybody goes and votes. We have got to encourage our family, our friends, our neighbors to go vote. The future of our country depends on it. And with your help and with us making sure in 48 hours, on Tuesday, the only, the, the only thing, uh, let me correct myself, on Tuesday, the mess of this current administration it's going to be the only garbage getting hauled off in 48 hours. So let's make sure the garbage gets hauled off. Y'all help us. God bless you. God bless you what you're doing. Let's get out the vote. God bless America. God bless you. Let's get out the vote. Let's go vote. Let's make America great again. Y'all keep plowing. I'm going to keep plowing with you. Great to be with you. Y'all have a wonderful night.